Bad weather always makes its own adjustments to our lives. In the wind and rain, no one wants to go on a picnic. Under most circumstances, no one wants to run even to the nearest store when the elements outside are raging. But what if I told you that the catastrophes that occur here on Earth are nothing compared to what happens on other planets? It's now time to get familiar with one of them. If you're in an armchair, I suggest you grab on tight to the armrests. I won't torment you for long. The Great Red Spot on Jupiter is the very place that we're going to talk about today. It looks like a huge eye on the face of a striped giant. But only from afar does this region seem beautiful and serene. The truth is, this spot is the largest vortex in the entire solar system. It's definitely not worth planning a trip there. Even if in the year 2120 you accidentally win a ticket to Jupiter. Just take my word for it, if Jupiter were inhabited, then you'd still probably be dissuaded by the locals themselves from visiting the Great Red Spot. After all, the weather forecast here hasn't changed for several centuries in a row. Thunderstorms, gusts of wind from 400 to 618 kilometers an hour, that's 250 to 384 miles an hour, and hellish heat up to 1300 degrees Celsius or 2400 Fahrenheit in its upper atmosphere. For an alien resident, perhaps such a wind speed would be a mere trifle. But for us Earthlings, this is too much. The strongest hurricanes on our planet aren't even half the strength of the whirlwind circling Jupiter. So that you understand what I mean, I'll give you a few examples. At a speed of 88 kilometers or 55 miles an hour, wind can rip tiles off of roofs. At 252 kilometers or 156 miles an hour, it can turn cars. And in order to lift a person weighing 80 kilograms or 176 pounds from the ground, generally a wind of just over 100 kilometers or 62 miles an hour is enough. I'm scared to imagine what would happen to our planet if the Great Red Spot suddenly decided to relocate to Earth. But where did this anti-cyclone come from? It all begins in Jupiter's atmosphere, which consists of constantly moving gases of different temperatures. They permeate the entire planet up and down, and there isn't a single obstacle in their path. The fact is that there's simply no solid surface on Jupiter to stop this centuries-old storm. Merging and twisting gas flows create gigantic vortices. Several of these storms once, very long ago, formed the Great Red Spot. When exactly this happened, no one knows. But it's believed that the first observations date back to the 17th century. And here's an interesting fact for you. For many years, the whole world thought that the spot was of a solid nature and was something like a crater or mountain. But in 1979, the legendary probe Voyager 1 finally brought us clarity. In detailed images of the spot that it sent to Earth, it was clearly visible. It represents an atmospheric formation. By the way, the spot has no permanent place of residence. It slowly moves along the equator, occasionally swallowing smaller storms that cross its path. But despite being fed by other storms, the red spot is slowly but surely decreasing in size. Even 100 years ago, it was about twice as large and significantly brighter. It's moving higher and higher, covering the new layers of the planet's atmosphere. But even now, the spot is still striking in size. It could easily swallow the Earth. And even then, there would still be space left over inside of it. As for its depth, it's about 300 kilometers or 186 miles. This, incidentally, is 50 to 100 times deeper than any earthly ocean. An interesting fact is that the spot, in a sense, lives according to its own laws. This is indicated by the nature of the gas movement inside the vortex. It rotates counterclockwise and makes a full revolution in six Earth days. At one point of latitude, it's maintained by two streams of air flowing in opposite directions. 
But scientists today have serious concerns that this factory for the production of storms may completely stop functioning in about 70 years. Simply because its main element, the anticyclone, will disappear without a trace. It's impossible not to notice this region on the surface of Jupiter. This formation is the only bright spot on the pale gas giant. But what makes the vortex red? In fact, the spot first turns pale and then becomes red. Why it's red isn't completely clear. According to the most popular hypothesis, chemical reactions in which ammonia and acetylene enter it under the influence of solar ultraviolet radiation give the spot its color. But the spot has one more superpower, which scientists just recently learned about. Previously, researchers couldn't explain why the outer layer of the atmosphere of Jupiter is so hot. After all, it's millions of kilometers or miles from the sun. Nevertheless, the temperature here is hundreds of degrees higher than what it should be. It turns out that it's not only the polar lights at the poles that warm the planet. The great red spot, like a giant stove, provides heat to the largest planet in the solar system. This occurs as a result of its gravitational or acoustic waves. These form due to turbulence in the atmosphere above the giant anticyclone. In general, our object of study is a whole separate world larger than the Earth, where furious speeds, temperatures, and high pressures are competing with each other. But this spot, as it turns out, isn't the only one of its kind in the solar system. The great white spot on Saturn, of course, cannot boast of the same consistency as the spot on Jupiter. However, wind speeds here can reach 500 kilometers or 311 miles an hour. In almost 150 years of observing this spot, it has appeared and disappeared eight times. And each time it disappears, it's in no hurry to reappear, allowing itself to rest for about 30 years. That's a long time here on Earth. But in terms of Saturn's calendar, we can say the large white spot appears approximately once a year. In appearance, it's more like a white comet with a really long tail that encircles the entire planet. And unlike the spot on Jupiter, powerful thunderstorms rage here. Even more elusive is the great dark spot located on Neptune. Its lifespan was even shorter and lasted only about five years. It may have existed for much longer, but it wasn't discovered until 1989. The wind speed around this spot is simply stupefying. 2100 kilometers or 1300 miles an hour. And its size is comparable to the size of our planet. It's a pity that this unique phenomenon can no longer be studied as it should be. In 1994, the great dark spot disappeared without a trace, leaving all of its unsolved mysteries behind. But 22 years later, a very similar phenomenon appeared in the northern hemisphere of the planet. Now, perhaps this one will linger there longer and give us an opportunity to see it better. As it turns out, by the end of the 21st century, the only remnants of the Great Red Spot will be its Wikipedia pages, and Jupiter will have transformed and developed a solid surface. After all, its main source of heat, which has warmed the planet for many centuries, will cease to exist. Though scientists say it's too early to draw any conclusions. No one knows exactly how and when the largest vortex in the solar system will disappear. It could become more compact and round, and it could then save itself. Or perhaps, on the contrary, it could swell after accidentally swallowing another smaller storm. In any case, even if the fate of the Great Red Spot is predetermined, no one can exclude the birth of another one. The spot could be replaced by the currently developing anticyclone Oval BA, the same reddish patch located south of its older and larger neighbor. Or maybe some other storm will be born. Time will put everything in its place. What do you think? What will happen to Jupiter's main attraction? 
Drop us a line in the comments. And don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe.